Yo, yiggity, yo, yo, yiggity, yo. Um, right, if you watched last time, we found some lovely buttons um, and a pair of sterling silver things and some cute little bits. Um, but that was about it. I mean, it was still lovely. This, oh, see, I've already ruined it for myself. I thought that might be silver, but I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway. We crack on, we try and find beautiful things, and sometimes we do. What on earth is that? Oh my word. Is that real? It feels it. It's quite well worn. I don't think it, like, it's not a precious metal or anything, but that is bloody bonkers, isn't it? Yowza. Well, that's going into a ring slot. It is a bit worn, but it's still kind of fun. Someone can do something with that. That's bonkers. Is there another? Oh my God, there's another one. Ooh, chunky malunky ringage. They're quite bonkers. Go into a ring slot. Not quite for me, but there we go. Right, well, oh, hello. What's this all about? I don't know, it doesn't want to be entangled, obviously. Right. Oh, and it's actually just clipped onto that. Right, okay, so it is actually broken. And yeah, we're gonna come back to that. I did see something really cool just then. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh, there's another one of them. Oh no, that's an earring. That's an earring one. I did once find out who that brand was, but I can't remember now. But that is at least a pair, and they can go in two kilos. That's what I saw. What metal that is. Yeah, it's a little hourglass egg timer type thing. I wonder if it's vintage. It's in a whole heap of stuff to untangle there, so I'm just going to put that there for now and um, get back to looking at other things. That's a pretty earring. It's got like a kind of a faux mother of pearl inlay. That's also a very nice earring. Any marks on you? don't know but it does have the look of gold maybe not that bit but that bit might be so i'll keep that aside to test that's unusual and yeah that's why i was looking at before that i was hoping was silver but it's quite well worn so it is not don't think i can see any marks like maker's marks or anything i bet that was beautiful when it was brand new and all sparkly and stuff but that's going into the crazy ring lot. That's quite a nice blue plastic in there. Oh, oh. look at the little penguin. Little clay penguin. He's cute. Isn't he a cutie? Little handmade thing. I'll put them, um, him in with the kiddies lot. That's quite cute, that. I think they'll like that. Some pins. We've got a violin and... Nan Tally Music Festival. I wonder if like they're from the same person, perhaps. But they'll go into a pin slot. <coughs> oh, always when it's a new bag, like the dust kind of comes up, and I go, oh god, here it comes. I might have to stop a second. Yep, definitely getting a dust allergy, which is a bit annoying. Rather fab old earring that. That's got um marcasite in it, gold tone. But not gold. Shame. What's, oh, come here. Wait. A little bug pin. It's a little bug pin. It's not very old though. But that's cool. Gonna have to stop again. Oh, it is super annoying, isn't it? Right. This should be nineteen ninety nine apparently. By John Charles, is it? No. John, John Richard. It is John Richard. <coughs> I might start a John Richard lot, you know, because I do get a few bits. Yeah, maybe. Try and calm the cot down. What are you? Is it hearing or? No idea what that is. In craft it goes. Mm-hmm. 
Rings lot. Oh, a Disney thing. A little Mickey Mouse hand and pants. I've got a little Disney lot on the go, so that'll go in that. Not much in there yet, though. I think there's only two things in there because they just listed some. Oh, they are earrings. Look at that. That's a bit mad. I wonder if I put them into like the Halloween lot or something. They're quite cool, quite creepy. Yeah, might do. A couple of these scarf rings going into a vintage lot. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Bloody dust. It's an unusual pendant. Ceramic. Faux pearls. Quite like it, though. It's a bit of a weird one. Maybe some artisan thing. Put that into a pendant slot. Cold home ring. Right, let's get the actual bits of jewellery out, shall we? Bit of marks and sparks is. And what's that? It's going in two kilos. That's a cute little chain. Little bracelet. These old ball bits, I don't think it's gold. I think it'd be gold plated. Yeah, I can't see any marks or anything. That'll go to a vintage lot as well. Little ring with wings. Oh, it's a ring wing, a ring wing. Oh, little like bone or bamboo shaped ring, but quite well worn. So that'll go into a lot as well. What are you? Oh, we have a fancy crucifix. On a nice ball chain. It says something there. What does it say? That's quite a smart crucifix, that actually. You know, as crucifixes go. Crucifixes crucified? No, I don't know what the plural is. Crucifixes, surely. Um, Venetia. Fulmiado interesting that might be something to sell separately i think it's a gold plate but it's unusual so yeah i'll keep that aside that's um that's an odd one that oh these are pretty little abalone earrings that goes in two kilos though is that uh so that bit before was an earring it was just missing its hook and that's broken anyway another scarf ring thingy it's quite a nice ornate one that so you put your scarf like that going in vintage that looks like a talon doesn't it i'm sure it probably would have had some kind of bead in the middle there what are you b and m b and m no oh bm bon marche isn't it it's quite a nice link to that one it has a bit of a french look to it does it have a tag Oh, that says Virgin V. Well, that's weird then. Why would that be on that? Who knows? Not for me to consider because it's going in craft. Oh, I mean two kilos. Um, Sadly not gold. Oh, look, a little candy cane. A uh, little flowery black beaded one going in two kilos. I like that spiral one with a little stone. That is indeed a pear. Looks like silver plate. Not silver though, you can tell from the posts. That's going to go in craft. And a little pear there. Going in two kilos. And a banana. It's a banana pendant. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Put that in a pendant slot. There's the other candy cane. Very delicate little... One there, not gold or anything. Got a flower and a butterfly. Little anchoring. Very vintage little pendant that. I'll put that in with a vintage lot. Little sparkly earring. Coppery brass earring. Love. And then some loose little bits. Oh, that's a cute little flower. They're going in craft. 
Another bonkers ring. Soldered at the bottom. That's rather a fabulous one though. It's a shame it's missing bits. I bet that looked rather glorious when it was first made as well. Shame. But that'll go into a ring slot. Yeah. What are you? Astrolink. Unusual. I might look that up just to see if that's, you know, a thing. So I'll keep that aside as well as an unusual bitage. And they're quite nice. Nice glass little mix of beads there. Cute. I'll go on into kitty -loos. A little broken brooch for a broken brooch's lot. And a little, is that Kestrel? Is that Kez? Little pin, RSPB pin. It's a tiny little key. I might nab that for the doll's house. Which is what I'm going to do. Nice little key. I know I keep going, like, oh, for the doll's house. They've got quite a collection of stuff. I, I just don't do anything with it. That's quite a groovy ear cuff. You'd only wear the one of those, most likely, so it doesn't matter that it's not up here. That's a weird tribal-esque kind of earring. Bit of glass. That was a pear, wasn't it? That's a pear. Going into kilos. That might be a little bit of gold. I'll keep that aside to test. That's a chandelier. A scandalabra. That looks like it might be silver. Yep. Oh, hang on. Does that say 925 made in Italy? I think it does. Um, something Jack? I don't know. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that says 925 made in Italy. Shame it doesn't say 750 made in Italy. That would be even better, but there we go. I can also see Italy on there, it's just... Yeah, 925. <laughs> Would have been lovely if that was a bit of white gold, but it's not. It's silver, but it's still very pretty. Be nice if it bought a friend. There's another ear cuff. So there you go, they have got a pair of them. Um, I'm sure we just had this butterfly. Yes, we did. There we go. Little pair there. Oh, a little pudsy bear. Cute. Now oh, has he bought a friend as well? Um, just a little sparkly pendant and a chain going in two kilos. And who are you, Lovisa? No, Aurelia. Little Aurelia with a little shell. Aurelia I probably would have sold at some point, but um, there's not enough of me, enough, sorry, enough of it for me to be interested in. It doesn't really get enough. Um, just a little simple chain, but I'll put that in with the vintage lot. And that will go in the kids lot. That looks like it might be gold. So I'll keep that aside to test. Nope. That's a pretty earring. Little faux pills, a little starfish. All them can go and craft. Ah, we had that chandelier a minute ago, didn't we? Here we go. So they can go in two kilos. Oh, they would almost be like a... I think that probably is a pear, isn't it? They're like meant to be like that, don't you think? I think so. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Cool matching mismatch pair. Um, blue stones, that looks like a broken chain. Um, not of any thing though, it's not gold or anything. Shame, but there we are. A tassel earring. Oh, another one of them. Where did the other one go? There we are. Pony holder for holding ponies. Indeed. Um, oh, wait. 
Is that like Pudsy's belly? Oh, it is. Look, look at that. <laughs> That's cute. Um, sometimes these are gold. That one isn't, but check them. And sometimes these are silver. These are not. They'll go into a little like a Christianity lot. And little stars. Oh, and we've got the other love. Oh, and I found another pair while we're down here as well. So we've got love and we've got some flowers. They look like pears. They've got mmms on them. Mm. And there's the other pudsies. So we've got a pair of pudsies there. I'll put them in with the kiddies lot, actually. Keep my key safe up there. Um, little black. It looks like glass, but it's not as plastic. We've got that pair. These like hammered ones. A little cameo. I'll put that in with vintage lot. Just a plastic cameo. And then we've got that pair. It's good that there are actually some pairs. That's not silver. That's a pretty sparkly one. Did that say 925 there? It might do does indeed say 95 so we got a little silver sparkly earring there I'll just get rid of these bits <coughs> a length of plastic brown beads and then you've got these black and gray ones what's this chain don't know, so I guess we'll have to test it. Oh, we've got a K. It's quite old, paste, possibly pewter, missing a stone. I'll put that in broken brooches, which is there. A broken pendant. Did we have this heart earlier? No, I can't see one there. That'll go into a faux pearly lot. And a ball chain. Not that interesting, but kind of useful. A little bit of opaya. What is that? Oh, that might be a hair bobbly type thing. Possibly. I don't know. A scarf ring. Oh, she's got her boob out. In fact, they both got their boobs out. God, ladies, calm down. And this, I think, is a prayer chain. Like, I think you're meant to count those, aren't you? Um, where do you go there? Bit of a broken earring, possibly like Indonesian, I think these are. And then there was this little packet of earrings. Probably end up putting them all back in. Oh, look. These little Queen's Guards and yeah I think these are all pairs by the looks of it I don't think they're anything to get too excited about but at least they are like butterflies and bows and hearts and more hearts so I keep them all together and put them in there <coughs> And now back to this. Oh, we got a mermaid, an articulated mermaid, but she is a little bit broken, which is a shame. What chain are you? I don't think. Don't think it's anything, but I'll keep this side to test just in case. Just in case it doesn't really feel like gold. Right. Am I going to have the patience to undo this? I don't think so, you know. Right. Strange little bird cage. With a little bird in it. Maybe for the doll's house. I promise one day I will do something with the doll's house. I did... Uh, have a dream about it being oh, they're quite nice 
about it being um, a little jewellery shop, which would be fun. Because one of the shops or one of the houses that my granddad did make me was um, a little shop. Uh, it was a little grocery shop and I made um, tiny little apples and orange and things out of Fimo clay. And I had a little till and little weighing scales. This is that, it's got little skulls on it. Oh, that's one of those like earring back things as well. Beard. So yeah, I might, as a little hobby at some point, when I can be bothered, maybe in my retirement, who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, I will. I can see me turning into my granddad, you know, and making miniature things, because that's what he loved to do, even though he had mad arthritis in his hands. Right, got the little bird cage out. <clears throat> do I want the bird cage for the doll's house? Yeah. Why not? Take the... Uh, come on. Nope, I'll do that another time. But yeah, well, I've got a bird cage and a key for the doll's house from this lot. That bit looks broken. That bit, even though it's kind of cool and interesting, I think it's actually just like a modern, like, accessorised one. So I'm going to put all of that in craft. All of that, all of that going in craft. Because why not? Um, oh yeah, we're gonna. Well, we'll come back to testing. I'm gonna put that into a pendant slot because it's a cool mud pendant, and I like it. And let's get another bird before we do all the testing. Oh, this one's got big chunky things in it and some packet things. Oof. Right, what's that? By Ornia? Not heard of them. Oh, well, going in two kilos. Some plastic bangles. Put them in kids' lot. Oh, that's cool. Zulu love letter. These love tokens. Wadi? No, it's not Nyo, sir. That they. Uh, Zulu? I don't know. Afrikaans? No. It would be Zulu, wouldn't it? Um, are woven in beads by Zulu maidens and sent to their lovers as a means of communication. That's cool. Oh, right, okay. So this has got yellow, uh, red and white. So white means purity, red means intense love, and yellow, ooh, jealousy. There's a lot of yellow in there. There's a lot of jealousy. Whew. Dude, you in danger. But I'll put that in with the tribe a lot. That's quite cute, that, isn't it? I like that. Something unusual. Um, big, chunky, kind of faux leather bangle there. Ah, oh, broken. Oh, well. Who's this by? Seven. That was Evans, wasn't it? I think so. But new with tags, originally five pounds. That's going in two kilos. What are you? Broken, that's what you are. That's a shame. That would have been lovely, actually. Wouldn't it? Again, when it was new, I bet that was lush. But that's going in craft a lot. That's all of this shenanigans. Oh, odd earring. A broken chain. That's not silver or anything. <clears throat> Plastic beads for kids' lot. And then this very chunky wooden bead one. It's quite cool though. That's going in two kilos, kind of matches that bangle. That one in as well. That's cool. Plastic. 
Or is it glass? Oh, I think it's plastic. That's weird. I like it. Looks a little bit like Bakelite. And it's like carved. I might keep that inside just to, just because it interests me a bit. A little sparkly hair clip. I'll put that in with the kids lot. Um, silver man. A little skull dude. Right, another clip. What is this? Big plastic chunky rose. Oh, with a matching brooch. Now the matching brooch kind of sells it now. If it was just that, I'd be like, uh, but because it's got a matching brooch. That could be fun for like a rockabilly kind of wedding. So I'll keep that aside because it's a groovy kind of set. Nice bangle. Quite a cool kind of snake skin effect. Big hoop earrings. They're all going in two kilos. You're not gold, are you? Why aren't you gold? feels a bit too sharp as well. It doesn't have the lovely soft feeling of gold, which is a shame, but it, it's quite a nice chain. So I'll put it in two kilos, but it's just not, not nice enough for me. Some more bangles. There's the other bit of that. Why aren't you gold? Why aren't you gold? Get tarnished as well. Crazy cross thing. Miss, ah. Uh, so skull was on there. Right, so all of this can go into broken then. It's gonna take that one with it apparently. That's absolutely fine. Little vintage dangly brooch, I'll put that in the vintage lot. I've got a pair. This will go in vintage lot as well. A key ring kind of thing. Don't think that's silver and it's broken. Broken chain. Put that in broken. Little rose in broken. Big chunky one. I thought that was a pattern then, but that was just dust. Oh, nice collar, the Peter Pan style collar. I'll put that in with vintage lot. All of these I'll put in with pearly lot. I think I've nearly got, nearly got enough for a lot now. Do, do, do. Broken earringy bits. I think that's a nine to five back. You gold? I don't think so. It's kind of too um, hard to describe. It just doesn't have the nice finish the gold does. A little gold tone rope twist bracelet. Plastic beads, a long length, not Bakelite. I think I can see seams on it. And that'll be with kids lot. That'll go into quite a very lightweight chain, that. Very lightweight. But that'll go into craft. That will go into, I was going to say vintage, but I don't think it is vintage. It's got modern-ish looking clasp, I don't know. Is that the extender? I'm just going to put that in pearly lot, actually. And then a little... Mm, cute got little dangle. Uh, that's one of them bag holder things. <clears throat> Another crazy cross thing going on there. That one is at least kind of complete looking. So here we go. And then another vintage necklace, but this one's broken and that's a broken bit. We've had a lot of broken in this one. And then that's, don't think that's silver. Nice little box chain though. I'll keep it aside and test it just in case. 
because uh, we've got to have some things to test, haven't we? So let's do that. I don't think this is going to be silver. You can see there's a bit of yellowing in there as well, so I don't think it is. Um, that was actually marked silver, so that's fine. We'll keep that aside. So was that. We were testing other things for gold, weren't we? And that's just a length. Nope. Right, so that I'm going to put in vintage lot and that little bit of chain will go in craft. And then we'll test these things for gold. See, there's tiny little marks on there. But I don't think that means gold, but I'll give them a scratch anyway. Oh, that's scratching nasty. It's more like stainless steel. Yeah, I don't think they are potential gold. I'll test the beads as well. Yeah, maybe, maybe. 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 And that's silver, that one. And then this one, I'm thinking not. Right. Let's test. Right, so that one we thought was stainless steel, which will have no reaction. And it doesn't. But... I think that is gold plated stainless steel. It's a little pair that's going in two kilos. And then, okay, not gold, unfortunately, but that is gold. That is gold. That is not gold. That is probably more likely to be a rolled gold. That will go in vintage. And these will go in my scraps, even though that's not even like half a gram there, but still. It all counts. Right, not terribly exciting, but I do like this little pumpkin-y bead thing. So I'm just gonna heat it up. There is an aroma of potential Bakelite. So I'm gonna keep that aside because I it's an unusual bit, but nothing else particularly exciting. A little rockabilly set, a tiny little key from a doll's house, and a birdcage from a doll's house. And Jesus, Jesus Christ, as an exclamation. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's it from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.